Here, we're working on some problems that have to do with collinear and coplanar points. So what do those terms mean? Well, co means together, and linear means line. So something that's collinear, or a point that's collinear, is on the same line with some other point. So here, A and B, they're two points. They're on the same line, so they are collinear. If I put C up here, A, B, and C, they're not on the same line, so we'd say they're non-collinear. And coplanar means that two things are together, or more than two things, on the same plane. So a plane you can think about as like a very thin sheet of paper, except it should stretch on in all these directions. Stretch out to infinity there. So a plane is like that. Like Think of it like a thin sheet of paper, but stretching on forever. If A, B, and C are on the surface of that thin sheet of paper, they are coplanar. If point D is hovering above the sheet of paper, then it's not coplanar with A, B, and C. OK, so that's the basic definition. Let's look at some problems where you might come across these terms. This one says name three non-collinear points. So non-collinear means not on the same line. Let's see, I could choose L. Oops, that's filling. There we go. I could choose L, uh, K, and J. Those would be non-collinear. I could even choose L and H and K if I wanted to. Two of those are collinear, but the third one isn't. So altogether, the three of them are non-collinear points. So any of those answers would be acceptable. Let's look at this next problem. This one says, which of the following, which of the following points are non-coplanar? And we've got some uh, series of points here. So here's a three-dimensional object, so you kind of have to imagine this in your mind's eye. Points that are coplanar, you could set a piece of paper on them and it would touch all the points. So all these points around the top are coplanar, all the points on this side are coplanar, all the points on the bottom are coplanar, etc. So basically, uh, if you have to fold the piece of paper to make it touch all the points, then they're going to be non- coplanar. So let's see what we've got here. The first one says A, D, H, and E. So that's A, D, H, and E. Those are all on that back side. So I could push a piece of paper up against that back side and touch them all. So those are coplanar, and we're looking for non-coplanar. B says A, E, F, and B. Uh -huh. And that's all the points on this end right here. Again, I could snug a piece of paper up there without folding it and touch all four of those points. So it's not that one. B, J, C, and D. So here's B, J, C. Oh, and D is over here. So B, J, and C are along the front. D is in the back. Aha, but we could put a piece of paper on the top and touch all those points. So those would be coplanar two. Hopefully D is the right answer here. A, J, D, and G. So here's A. Here's J. Those two are on the top. Now, D and G, D is also on the top. Ah, but G is on the bottom. So there's no way I could touch all of those points without having, without having to fold that plane. So these are non-coplanar points. Let's look at uh, a couple more problems. This one says, find the word or words that best complete the sentence. And it says, three points are blank collinear. And is it always collinear? Sometimes, never, or not enough information to tell? Well, collinear means that they're all on the same line. Let me just choose the pencil here. So are three points always on the same line? Well, I don't think so, because I could have two points on the same line and a third point up here. And you know these might be collinear, but the third one wouldn't be. Although I suppose they could be, right? I could have a line and have one, two, three points all in a row on the line, so they could be. So it's not going to be never, and it's not going to be always. So in this case, our best choice is sometimes. All right, let's look at one more. It says, find the word or words that best complete the sentence. Two intersecting planes, always, sometimes, or never, 
intersect at exactly one point. Well, this might be a little hard to visualize. So I put a picture down here of two planes intersecting. Um, and when two planes come together, you could think about it as one sheet of paper going right through another sheet of paper. That point of intersection is right along here. And as you can see, actually, these planes would be extending out in these directions uh, going on forever. So this is just a section of, of two planes intersecting. But as you can see, what it makes when it intersects is a line. And a line is a whole bunch of points. In fact, it's it's an infinite number of points. So when this says two intersecting planes blank intersect at exactly one point, well, that's always wrong. Because when two planes intersect, they intersect at a line, which is an infinite number of points. So I'm going to say never intersect at exactly one point. So that's a little bit of work with collinear and coplanar points.